Hello dear students, welcome back to the Farm I Learning channel. Today I come with a new video on the size reduction, into which I am going to discuss about the one of the size reduction equipment which is known as a ball mill. So let's try to understand the details of the ball mill. As you know that the ball mill is a one of the size reduction equipment which basically work on the principle of impact and attrition. Uh, let's try to understand what is the meaning of the word impact and attrition means if the particle is there into which from the top the hammering force or the force is applied from the top like a high shearing force is applied and along with that the particles are also striking with each other or the one another and to do to which the size reduction is going to be taking place. Already I discussed all the mechanisms of the side reduction in one of my videos that is called size reduction the mechanism. Please try to go on the observe that video for the more details for the same. Now let's try to understand what is the construction, how the ball is made up of. Basically the ball mill is consists of a hollow cylinder in, into which the balls of the different diameters are used and this entire hollow cylinder as shown into the figure or the image it is mounted on its longitudinal axis and it is rotated in a such a way that so it is going to be rotated on its longitudinal axis as shown in the diagram uh, here the balls of the different size are there and this hollow cylinder which is going to be rotated on its longitudinal axis. Now what is the volume? How much ball will have to take? The ball will generally occupy the 30 to 50 percent of the entire ball, entire the volume of the cylinder and the size of the ball generally depends upon the what the materials are undergoing the size reduction and the size of the mill. Uh, what will happen because we are taking the different uh, diameters of the ball like a large, uh, medium and the small size. So the large balls generally try to break down the coarse material or the bigger particles and the smaller balls try to break down the finer particles into the whatever the desired particle size direction we required. If we want to understand the, how the size direction takes place by the uh, ball mill then it depends upon the number of factors. Uh, the most important parameters of the factor is the ball. Uh, what type of the balls we are taking, what is the size of the ball, what is the density. Density means from which material the balls are made up of and the number of the balls which are present inside the cylinder. The second factor that is what is the feed rate and the feed level into the cylinder. It means that whatever the material which is undergoing the size reduction at what rate it is going to be introduced and what is the amount of that material which is present inside the cylinder. The third most important factor that is to be considered for the ball mill is uh, rotation speed. Now why the rotation speed of the cylinder is important because the rotation speed will decide whether the proper side reduction is going to be taking place or not. As shown into this slide, if the balls are going to be rotated at a lower speed then what will happen because the cylinder is rotating at a lower speed so the balls are going to remain on the one side and we are finding the sliding effect. And if the cylinder is going to be rotated at a higher speed, so the centrifugal force is going to be generated and due to which the balls are going to be thrown towards the periphery and you can also in the center there is a hollow portion is there. So here again, so in this both low and high speed the proper side reduction will not take place. So the cylinder should be operated at optimum speed. When we are going to obtain at the optimum set, then what will happen? The balls will climb up into the center at a particular height and then they are going to be slide down. So this type of the effect which is known as a cascading effect. So this cascading effect will give us the proper size reduction. Generally the balls are made up of either ceramic or the stainless steel will be there. And the modification of this ball mill are made nowadays the balls are replaced with the pebbles and the pebbles uh, that type of the instrument or the equipment which is known as a pebbles mill. Now let's try to understand by this particular video the working of the ball mill. So as soon as this particular video will be there. As the ball is rotating at the low speed, the sliding is taking place. No proper size direction. And And if the ball is going to be rotated at the correct speed or what we can say the optimum speed, then uh, the cascading effect is going to be observed. You can see that into the uh, video that is a different diameter balls are then and they try to reduce the particles very well. 
But if the ball is uh, the entire cylinder is going to be rotated, then again the with the aspect the centrifugal effect is off. So that will not produce or give us the proper side reduction of the material. Now let's try to understand what are the advantages, disadvantages, and the applications or the usefulness of this ball mill. The ball mill generally produce very fine particles. It is produce uh, capable of producing less than or equal to 10 micron size of the particles too. Uh, it is also advisable or the suitable for the size reduction of the toxic or the very potent material because the entire cylinder is closed. So no contamination is no contamination of the environment is going to be taking place due to dusting or any reason. It is also suitable for the size reduction of the highly abrasive material. Uh, the looking at the other side of the coin that's called the disadvantages. Here the contamination of the product may take place due to the wear and the tear from the balls as well as these balls are going to strike to the cylinder which are generally made up of the metals and therefore the noise level is going to be high. Here the relatively longer processing time is there and the machine is also difficult to clean after the use and this is a batch operated not the continuous in process. But still the ball mill is also widely used in the pharmaceutical industry, chemical industry and the certain food industry. Uh, it is used for the fine grinding of the drugs or the suspension, the drugs which are placed in the powder form. And as you know, the suspension into the solids are going to be dispersed or they, they are going to be suspended into the uh, liquid or the vehicle will be there. Uh, this ball mill is also suitable for the raw material grinding before the manufacturing of pharmaceutical chemicals. So, dear students, into this video, I highlighted the mechanism, construction, working, advantage, disadvantage, and what is the usefulness of the ball mill. If you like my video, then please give it a like, please share it to your friends, and please subscribe to my channel for the more coming videos on the size direction and other pharmacy related topics. Thank you.